Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a good size haul from you with some new food finds and some really good deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is again how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at Fry's, which is my local Kroger store. I found some new food finds and some amazing deals. So let me show you what I picked up for a healthy week. First thing is some frozen hash brown potatoes. This is actually for my breakfast meal prep. And then I grabbed some frozen corn as well. I have a couple of recipes that call for frozen corn. A few household non-food items. First is this Lysol brand new day antibacterial spray. Troy asked me for this. He does most of the house cleaning and he asked for some anti-back spray. This actually smells really good. It's coconut and sea mineral, so much better than those bleach smelling sprays. And then he also asked for a new toothbrush. I wish I would have known before I went to Costco, I would have bought them there. So next Costco or Sam's trip, but I picked him up a toothbrush and then I also did a restock of our paper plates. I had a coupon for these. Some really good deals in the meat department. First, their ground chicken, the 93 or 97.3 is three 99 a pound, which is really good. Normally it's $5.99, so about almost half price. So I picked up a pound of that, and then I found a pound of 93.7 for $5.86. I always check the reduced meat section at Kroger stores. They always have the best. That and their bakery section, re that and their reduced bakery are always such a great steal. So definitely don't skip the meat and bakery section at Kroger stores. So I picked up a pound of that. And then this is a really good quality ground beef. They make burger patties as well. We've had those and they're just a nice cut of meat. So this is a two pound pack of ground beef. So I picked that up for Troy. You guys know I make him sloppy joe, spaghetti, that kind of thing. And then I needed chicken breast for my for a recipe, so I grabbed some chicken tenders. I just like tenders better than actual chicken breast. Some canned goods, I did grab two cans of olives. I'm making Troy's pasta salad for him. If you want to know what that recipe is, it is on my recipe website under Troy's pasta salad. So if you're interested, it's the best macaroni salad. So it calls, so I use olives and I went ahead and picked up two cans because I complain how expensive olives are all the time. These were two for four. I was not going to spend $5 on one can of sliced olives. I'll just slice them myself. So I picked up two cans of whole olives. Also two cans of black beans. I had a coupon for these. So they were a dollar a can and my coupon was 70 cents off. So that made one of the cans only 30 cents. So I picked black beans up for a recipe and then just to have on hand. I needed some cream of chicken soup for a dinner recipe. My favorite is the Healthy Request by Campbell's. And then I did pick up a can of pumpkin. I like to have this on hand for the dogs, especially with Lola going through chemo now. Any stomach digestive upset canned pumpkin works really well. And then I also use this to make my waffles with the devotion protein powder. So I picked up a can of pumpkin, two gallons of skim milk for Troy for the week. He does go through a couple gallons every week. And then I did get some light shredded sharp cheddar. I have light Fiesta blend and this just sounded really good. And I needed light cheese for a recipe and then some cubed ham for Troy's pasta salad. And then he also asked for some deli roast beef. So I picked that up. Like I said their reduced bakery section 10 out of 10. So I grabbed these little mini sugar cookies for the week and then you know that he really likes these little mini pastries. These ones are the cherry. These were both 50% off. So this was $1.25 and this was $2.75 I believe. So not bad at all. And these are the perfect size for me for a little sweet treat. And then I did a restock of my Idaho and potatoes. I love having these on hand just for a quick, simple side. They're really good. The macros are good. The points are good. I like to make KFC bowls with these or like I said, just have it as a side. So I have 
the roasted garlic and the roasted garlic parm baby red. A box of elbow macaroni for Troy's pasta salad. And then I saw these over in the clearance section. I already opened them, so I'll be able to give you a little review. I had one of these on my way home from grocery shopping. These are from the brand Core Foods, and these are peanut butter chocolate chip little bites. Four grams of protein, 90 calories, five grams of fiber, which is amazing. So this is what they look like. They're actually individually wrapped, and I thought this would be great pre-workout, post-workout, hiking, if you're out traveling because they are pre-wrapped. These are really good. Now they do have a little bit of a sugar alcohol aftertaste, very mild. I don't like that taste at all, that, that cooling, I hate it. So I wouldn't like these if it was super strong. There's a little bit of it there, but these are really good. And honestly, these are pretty, these are filling. I had one of these and I'm good to go until I have a morning snack. Really, really delicious. Highly recommend if you can find them at your local grocery store. And then lots of produce. I needed kale for a recipe, so I went ahead and picked up baby kale. I just prefer this over the leafy kale. It's too thick and kind of spongy material. I don't like it at all. So I do like the baby kale. I got some more bananas because again, I've been loving bananas lately. Radishes for Troy's pasta salad. I did pick up some broccoli florets because they were reduced to $1.74. And I've been on a veggie and dip kick. Both of us have actually, so I picked those up. And then I did get some green onions for his pasta salad. Blackberries this week are 99 cents a piece at Kroger store. So that's a great deal. So I picked up two packs of blackberries, a yellow bell pepper for a dinner recipe, as well as a red onion, four limes. I need limes for my meal prep, for my snack meal prep, as well as for a dinner recipe. Stay tuned right after the haul for what's on my menu for dinners and meal prep. And then I also picked up some fresh cilantro for my lunch meal prep. Three, I also grabbed three 12 packs of Diet Coke. Coca-Cola 12 packs are $4.99 right now at Kroger. So I picked up three 12 packs for Troy. So let's go ahead and jump into dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for dinners for the week. I'm going to be making a sweet potato hash and a crock pot creamy Italian chicken. One of these you'll see in Wednesdays what I eat in a day. I'm not sure which one yet. And then we do still have a salad kit, so we're going to have a salad night. And then here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making a cheesy potato casserole. That's what I picked up the frozen potatoes for. And then for lunch, I'm doing chicken burrito bowls. I've been craving chipotle, so I'm gonna make it at home. So I'm excited for that. And then I'm going to be making key lime energy balls. I've been craving just a small little energy ball that I can take with me on the go. I'm actually taking a pretty big hike in the next week, so that will come in handy. So you'll see all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from my local Kroger store. I got some good deals and some new food finds that I've really been loving. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future upload. And don't forget to stop by that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, friends. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.